Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to City State and our City State, what is it, Nanette City, right? Oh, there it is right down their bottom, our liberal welfare state, apparently, despite my somewhat libertarian choices. Where did my mouse go? Oh, there it is over on the other screen. There it is on this screen now. Um, yep, we are barely having a positive cash flow. Our education, health, and security are slowly creeping up. Strangely, our security is higher than anything, despite the fact that we are spending more money on education. So, like, our bars have gone up in the opposite, or the converse of the uh, way that we were spending our money. But we have a very solid uh, environment and uh, an average quality of life. Well, it could be worse. Now, I don't know if having visible traffic means that there's traffic, Seems like that mean, would indicate to me that everything's flowing smooth. Maximum capacity, 80 cars per minute. Traffic, 10 cars per minute. Okay, that's cool. Um, oh, zero maintenance on those. But these, I guess, have maintenance. It doesn't really show that they have maintenance. Uh, lots of low-income stuff, even though they desire cheaper places to live. Boy, even over here, where I didn't put in any parks, and... Well, they're still within range of the road. Land value, 86. Maybe it's because it's next to that lake and river or something. If I put some tiles in over here, it's not like we really have a lot of uh, money for tiles and stuff. Um, but I'll throw a little bit down because I just want to see what happens. These are medium density. So these have a much lower land value. I'm a s Oh, nope. So you can see the land value is going up as they get improved. But I thought maybe putting them next to the oil wells would, you know, hurt the land value. Also, they're no, they're next to the desert, so they're nowhere near. There we go. Minus eight. Oh, yeah. Minus nine. So garbagey. Is that going to bring down the land value over here? It's weird that I want to bring... 87 land value? Jeez Louise, how do these poor people afford to live there? Um, hmm. Do not know. It's very confusing. But money is slowly creeping up. We do want to make sure that we stay on the correct side of profitability. Let's look at our trade here. Oh, yeah. We're making way more of any of the goods than we consume. So no need to worry about that. Looks like we get uh, half of a dollar for all the food we produce. We get... Hmm... $3 for all of the iron, for each iron we produce. And we get $5 for every oil that we produce. Well, that's pretty good. That's a good return on investment. But it's very expensive to discover new oil or new iron or any of those things. Uh, you can see that these add to the land value and the environment. Oh, forests, excuse me, forests add to the land values. The rainforest just add to the environment. Farms, of course, don't. Oh, no. Yeah, for some reason I couldn't build farms on top of those forests. I don't know why that was. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, yep, yep, this keeps telling me I need to take a loan, but I'm not going to. No, I don't want to hide the tutorial. Okay, how about it? Well, if I open the bonds window, will it shut you up? No. Well, I... Hey, issues. We got new issues. Okay. Oh, prostitution. How should prostitution be regulated? Prostitution is legal with regulated business registration. Prostitution is legal, but brothels and pimping are not. That sounds like a pretty good deal. We don't really need to have um, brothels and pimping. Illegal to buy sex. Legal to sell sex. Prostitution is illegal and severely prosecuted. No. All right, we'll go with this one. Makes us a little more money. Definitely seems like this would be the liberal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, these should be flip-flopped, because normally it goes conservative to liberal. But, I don't know, whatever. I'm just going to go with the right thing. So, the middle-income people like that one, strangely. Um, and it's good for our freedom and civil rights. So, that's cool. And a little bit more money that we could spend on security. Maybe not a bad idea. Take that prostitution money. 
Maybe a little bit, actually on healthcare, because prostitution does seem, actually I'm gonna do it across the board, but prostitution does seem to be a health um, uh, concern with STDs and all that. So it'll be good to have a little more money spent on prevention and um, yeah, just general safety. We've got $700 in the bank. We're pretty much breaking even. So unfortunately it means we can't really expand all that much, although we do have plenty of food. So you know what? I'm gonna try to expand anyways, even though expansion is expensive. But I'll spend a few hundred dollars expanding. And we should try expanding some medium density stuff. I'll go down to like 500 bucks. Let's see how this works out. A couple more. There we go. I said $500, like I said. That should get us some uh, a new population. I don't know how much new population or anything it's going to get us, but maybe um, medium medium income homes. Nope. What I'm really hoping for is that some of these low income, low density homes can change to medium income. That doesn't seem to be happening either. Oh, so low density can go up to five. Or are those medium? Maybe those are medium density. Yeah, those are medium. Got it. Ah, look at that. There's a middle class home. So we have two of them. They desire a land value of 40. All right. And the low income desires a land value of minus one. But these are not... It's weird that these are not developing. And they're medium... Um, medium density as well. Hmm. Do not know. Oh, oh, we're losing money too. Oh boy. Oh, and yeah, we got to answer answer these issues. Healthcare. Hey, didn't we already answer this? Um, I definitely would like to have a publicly funded two hundred and thirty three dollars for public funded healthcare. One hundred and forty five dollars. $58, $0. Well, I can't. Like this, if we do publicly funded healthcare, it'll bankrupt us. Can I, can I wait on this issue? I mean, even here, this one is, would bankrupt us very quickly. Let's see if we can hold off on this issue. Can I escape? No. So I have to make a decision here. I, I really want to look at our budget. Dang. Um, well, we got to do something. So we'll do that one. Yep. I'm not very happy about that. Um... So we're going to have to raise tax. Oh, whoops. No, we're going to lower spending on these again. And we're going to, no, three, two. We're going to raise taxes. There we go. So we're back to a even cash flow. All right. What extent should the government control and survey the creation and management of private companies? Companies must get registered once, use a standard form. Companies must apply to a chargeable verification process and update their status yearly. Companies must pay a registration fee according to their size and provide extensive account statuses every year. Must obey specific guidelines and are subject to monthly audit by the authorities. Um, seems like reasonable legislation. It looks like they're all going to be cost neutral. This is definitely going to upset the rich, but we're not we're not getting any rich people anyways. Let's do that one and see what happens. Ah, there you go. Made the middle income happy and didn't upset anybody. That's good. I like that one then. All right, final issue of the day. Should public policies restrict the introduction of a new product when its ultimate effects are not fully known? Uh, definitely not this one. New products have to be certified by a third-party private institute. All new products have to be certified by a public institute. Sensitive industries are regulated extensively. I like that one. No cost. 
I don't like this one so much because you never really know the dis the facts and stuff. So we'll go ahead and go with this one. I think that's reasonable. And none of these 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 are all neutral cost, right? Yeah. So it's just choosing the best one. Well, that's good for our low income people. Not so great for the middle income. But we do have high middle income demand. I'm not entirely sure why. So, income equality is 48. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Unemployment is reasonable. So, low income has a high growth rate. And middle income, or middle income, has a uh, also fairly reasonable growth rate. And, of course, high income has a negative growth rate. We just can't seem to attract any high income people. But our public approval is dismal. Excuse me, that is terrible public approval. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Don't know. Freedom Index seems fairly low. Maybe that's why. Hard to say. Um, get that speed back up. It's still barely positive cash flow, so... No need to worry. I guess I have this set to place forest, and that's not what I want. We don't need more forests. Plenty. I certainly can't afford to place any forests or anything, honestly. Just need to uh, keep vamping and moving around our little town here. But, uh, what are these buildings there? Projects? Uh, stage 4 out of 5. Not bad. Nothing really changes when you get in closer. Um, also, so these are medium density in here, and they're growing up pretty well. These medium density ones are not. Even though I, like, I set them up because I wanted some low income, or I mean low land value, medium density plots, and uh, doesn't seem to be giving us the kind of rewards that I might have hoped we would receive for something like that. And then we have a mine over here, and the mine did not seem to annihilate the land value, which you kind of would expect it to do. Bunch of projects over here. They are not um, pulling away all the low value or the low income people um, and placing them into, uh, oh, placing or making room for middle income people. All right. How should criminals be dealt with? Criminals are required to perform labor for the time in detention. No, thank you. Assigned to private jails. No, thank you. Assigned to public jails. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Public jails and all of them are integrated to the rehabilitation system. I mean, this is what we should do. Ah, we just don't have the money for it. Even this one we can't afford. But we're going to do it anyways. It's the right thing to do. But doing the rehabilitation program is really the right thing to do. And that didn't seem to hurt anybody, so that's not bad. All right. Um, now, the uh, the legislation may be changed once all the issues have been answered. Okay, so we have to we have to answer all issues before we can change anything, which is um, that's going to take us a while. So we're kind of stuck with the decisions we've made. Which means we're stuck with uh, losing some money for a bit. And probably stuck with a fairly unhappy population. But look, our stability has gone up 97%, but our public approval is 23. So, surprised we haven't had any riots. I'm not really sure how we would... Uh, like, I've done quite a bit to try to... Uh, set up the stage for income equality does not seem to be working. Again, you kind of... You have to... Like, try to know what... Uh, like, you, uh, how the game works before you can really know what's going to balance it out. There's the... Most games kind of have a uh, standard uh, kind of utopian uh, Western European style uh, worldview towards what is going to cause happiness. Um, and uh, this game does not seem to follow that same plan. And uh, my idea of 
what should work because it typically works in other games. Does not seem to be working so much here. So we're not making as much profit because um, our uh, balance of trade is off. Does that mean our unemployment? No, our unemployment is very low. So we actually need more people. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, and our look at our middle income has been devastated. Uh, just destroyed. So we really have a lot of poverty. I don't understand why. I mean, what could I be doing differently to reduce poverty? And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I need to keep increasing taxes to pay for the services. And, like, that's, that's not going to help poverty. We shouldn't be riding on the backs of our poor to pay for everything. Should copyrights and patents be enforced by the government? Um, grant and enforce intellectual property for a limited period of time, 10 to 50 years. Uh, 70 years are after the author's death. And these are all price neutral as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and do standard uh, middle of the road approach there. Made some people happy and some people unhappy. Didn't really change a whole lot. Did it improve? Our approval rating does not seem to. We're still at 23%. So, nope. Okay, we're, must, we're bouncing around between 22 and 23%. Our, our high income growth rate is slightly improved. Although with zero, I don't know how you really grow from zero. Um, our stability is very high, which is real interesting. And I still don't... Oh, there we go. Uh, Liberal People's Republic. Okay, sure, thanks. Is it because I opened the borders slightly? Maybe that will help us. Oh, look at that cash flow. My gosh. Going to open up a little more immigration. Um, I am going to lower their taxes. Yep, so it's really the lower income taxes that we're paying for that were allowing us that higher cash flow. And our services are just awful right now. Just awful. We're not making a whole lot of progress on our bars over here. After We made pretty good progress at the very beginning, but that's because we were spending a lot on services. And uh, I've had to make a lot of cutbacks on services. It doesn't seem like they're going backwards. Yep, you could just see that. Education just ticked up a little bit while I had the mouse cursor over there so we are slowly increasing but not as much as I would like um, population has been going up that's for sure it's nice these things nothing happens when you hover over them we have a positive GDP but not that great um, although it Seems to just be a, 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 all those numbers added together, which is not quite how GDP works in real life. Our utility, our lot utility, is really the most expensive expense here with legislation close second. Well, not a close second. Legislation in second. Uh, our cash flow is, has uh, gone down quite a bit, actually. I wonder why that is. Because we need to push that back, which is really going to make people unhappy. Should literature and arts be supported by the government? Well, yes, they should. But it's going to be too expensive to do that. Dang. I mean, we could do tax incentive for cultural businesses and be breaking even. But we're already... Our money is dwindling. Dang, 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 dang. That's too bad. Luckily, nobody's unhappy about that, but they should be. Oh, look at that stock market. It's, the, the, it's changed so much, it's gone off the charts. Like, literally off the charts. It's wild. That The stock market was super happy that I didn't fund uh, the arts. And then they, they came back down to reality. They're like, oh, yeah, that's right. I like looking at pictures. Good thing I didn't do that either because our cash flow continues to dwindle. Even though 
You would think it would be relatively the same as our population increases. Population has gone up a thousand since we last talked about it. Approval staying the same. Still have a high fertility rate. But it's all poor. Just a lot of poor people. No PhDs. A lot of gun owners. A lot of cigarette smokers. Not a lot of suicide. That's good. A lot of beautiful women. Just weird metric. Um, 10,000 must be an achievement. Small town achievement. Great. Oh my gosh. Are those slums? Holy mackerel, what's going on? Our town is turning into slums. That's not good. Oh, no. And our cash flow. Oh, that's bad. Um... Homelessness 2. I don't really know what that means. Oh, so informal setters, settlers. 2,000. So is that because we don't have an... No, it's not because we don't have enough plots. We do have enough plots. So why all the poverty? Our unemployment is very, very low. I, I'm, I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? Place more, place more plots? Like, it's not like we have a shortage of jobs. And, and like these are taking over existing plots. So it would be nice to get some feedback on why these things are happening. And you can see here, is this a middle class? No, that's low income. So we've got some decent low income middle density, but all these slums, I don't understand. Is it because they're too far away? That can't be it. Oh, very high traffic on these highways. Can I, uh, I can overwrite the highways. Uh, this is very expensive, but maybe it will help with our poverty. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of money. And what am I going to do? I can't, I can't really raise taxes again. I mean, I have to. Oh my gosh. I don't think that's going to help our poverty issues. All utilities should be privatized. Private, public partnerships. These utilities should only be handled by local municipalities and public companies. Well, we can't afford that. We certainly can't afford that. So I guess we have to do this one. We have to semi-privatize. Alright, well, I mean, if it discourages poor, the poor and encourages the rich... Like, that's good for our society. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take advantage of being... Oh, my gosh. We were at 100-something, and now we're at 20-something by lowering the taxes on the poor by 1%. Hopefully that helps. Um, we're almost our, our roads are almost at capacity over here. It's got to be because of all these slums. Uh, but the slums are just expanding. And I... Like, it doesn't make sense. The land value is so high, and then these buildings are turning into slums. So I don't get why. Look at that population, though. Population is exploding. It's very confusing. Um, but, guys, that is going to be it for this episode thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you checking this video out leave me a comment down in the comment section i'd love to hear what you have to think and be sure to click that like button if you're having a good time i would love to hear that too 
Uh, come on and see me again real soon. Have a good night. Bye, everybody.